All right, thank you so much for waiting. This is Atsushi, and this is the Sashiko live streaming on Friday, October 2nd in English. Ah, sorry, just a second. Sakura. Sakura. Be careful with the needle. Okay, I will start the Instagram, so we can do it. Yeah, just a second, please. Sakura, I'm not going to do it. Okay, then you might have to start. Just a second. Okay, let's start the Sashiko live stitch. Ah, Sashiko live streaming. This is Sakura. This is Sakura. I have to move her first, but here we go. Hello, this is Atsushi, and this is the Sashiko live streaming in English. Sorry to be late by six minutes or so. I have to move her first, but she is here first. And uh, this is available both on the US, no, I'm sorry, the, both on the Instagram and YouTube. Let me prepare that. I Sakura. Sakura. Sakura chan. Just a second, okay? Please don't knock off. Yes. Ay, ay. Okay, I think I can start now. Okay, here we go. So, exactly the same. Ah. I am working on exactly the same project from the last time. The, I promise that I will work on this project only on the, use, uh, only on the live stream. So, just quick preview of what I'm doing right now. This is my work. Uh, outside work pants. And I had a big hole here by accident. And I patched it with the denim, very thick denim, with stitching this Asanoha pattern. However, I kind of don't like how it, how it looked around here. And as a result, I tried to have the similar patterns around it so we can sort of hide it. We can hide the mess here, which I don't know if I am doing the good job. But, well, you know. It's a try and error. No. It was very difficult to patch the thick thin on the cotton cargo pants. So let's see how it's gonna go. Ish. I will talk about, well, I've been talking about, I have been talking about the concept of beauty in imperfection. I don't know if I can do a good job, but I will try to talk about it a little bit today as well. Uh, it is very difficult to understand or even describe, not even understand, it is very difficult to describe the Japanese culture. in words one of the biggest reasons is that we expect people we expect each other in japanese we expect each other to read between the lines so it's very difficult to explain the whole picture whole description or even definition about sashiko not a sashiko about the japanese culture uh, sashiko and other concepts are very deeply related to the japanese culture so I will talk about it a little bit. I don't know if I can do it while stitching, but I'll try my best. But this part is super hard to stitch. Okay. Uh, 
but I can take <laughs> I I'm happy to have your questions. I may miss the question on Instagram because Instagram's comments are kind of moving fast. If you could leave it on YouTube, that might be easier for me to answer. If the questions are already asked, I do not answer them, but I will navigate how you can get the answer. The, like, you know, I have a YouTube videos and vlogs that I already share a lot of information. If the questions are re repetitive, repetitive, I will navigate the question to the answers instead of repeating the same answer here. By the way, if you do not get the reply on the comments, I do read all the comments and I appreciate them, but I simply don't have time to reply all of it. Uh, if you leave the comments on my YouTube Instagram with the question and if you do not get the reply, that means the answer is already somewhere. Uh, if I receive the comment which I have not answered yet, I usually reply sooner. So please check other videos or other articles so you probably will be able to find the answer by yourself to your question. If you If somebody, if you're not, if not you, if somebody's not willing to learn by Googling, then that's probably not a good attitude to learn Sashiko. So it's a end of the conversation for that. <clears throat> hmm. So I have been talking about this Sashiko as the hmm, sorry. Oh yes. I've read some like sentence or article about Sashiko as the beauty of imperfection. And I learned that that's the concept from tea ceremony or tea practice, sado, the way of tea in Japan. And it is true. It is true that, that there is beauty in imperfection. Nothing is going to be perfect. And one of the things that many people are interested in those beauty in imperfection is that the kintsugi to fix the broken cup or broken bowl with the gold. Many people understand not a many, but some, I'm sorry, some people understand that there's a big link between the Kintsugi and Sashiko. In my understanding, there is not. It's not the same thing. And it, it takes a long time, to, it takes a lot of time for me to explain what is the difference between Kintsugi and Sashiko. But the origin is different. Origin is already different, so... Kintsugi was more like a, a choice, I would say. Sashiko was not a choice. If I this is very, very, very rough explanation, so I could be wrong. And I'm not a really good good speaker about Kintsugi, so I might be wrong. But it is okay to have the beauty in imperfection as the result, but celebrating or embracing the beauty in imperfection from the beginning with saying that without, actually, without trying to be better in stitching is not the form of Sashiko stitching. So... Ah, Sakura! <laughs> There's a lot of difference between like each word. So some people say that the wabi sabi is about beauty in imperfection. It is true, but it, it's not sufficient. 
describing the wabi-sabi as the one word beauty and perfection is not wrong but it's not sufficient enough to explain what wabi-sabi is i don't know if i can even explain what wabi-sabi is because it's very much reading in between lines but i have to say that it's not about sashiko is not about embracing the beauty in perfection in fact there are many 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 sashiko stitchers who wanted to be better who wanted to be as perfect as they can be so please try to get better and then as a result you may be you may enjoy the beauty in perfection because you know we cannot be perfect while we do sashiko stitching or even hand stitching so there's a big difference between celebrating the beauty in perfection even before trying to practice that. I hope it makes sense. I mean, I've been communicating that over the Instagram and I will keep doing that. But By the way, Sashiko was actually not at some point mm, Sashiko was not always the method or practice of making the fabric I mean mending the fabric that's another misunderstanding I would say so Sashiko was actually yes indeed was a practice to mend the fabric but at that point of the Japanese history at that period the mending itself was probably not called sashiko per se so when the japanese people started calling sashiko it became a practice of making fabric stronger so mending is kind of a last result of sashiko stitching they expected that fabric will get torn or get a hole in eventually because they didn't have enough materials to keep replacing it so instead of patching it, instead of making those patchworks, they wanted to make the fabric stronger to begin with to avoid the unfortunate future. Therefore, we have a lot of patterns like this to make the fabric in a good shape. So it is kind of incorrect to understand that Sashiko is the practice of mending. I'm sorry, it's not incorrect. It is insufficient. It, it is not sufficient. It is not explaining the whole of the pic whole picture of Sashiko. Does it make sense? I hope it makes sense. Good evening, good evening. I'm sorry, I missed the comment. Since I read the comment, I will probably lose the topic of what I was talking about. Now I finish talking. Hello. Thank you for watching from all over the world. I mean, it's probably more than what you know. Like, if you think that you know about Sashiko, probably there's more stories, more things that you can learn. And it's okay, because I'm still learning too. There are a lot of things that I do not know. Um, I mean, really, pretty much the minus Japanese live streaming is the process of collecting those pieces of information from the other Japanese Sashiko stitches. So, I still am learning. I try to learn before I teach. But I hope that we will not repaint. We not a repaint. Like, how can I say? You know, we repaint. I hope we will not change the culture by accident or by ignorance. It is good. It is, of course okay to change the culture but i hope it's gonna be somewhat respectful to do that sako is jumping around is the youtube working but there's something about hand stitching though I, I probably many people will agree with that uh, if you want to have a perfect 
stitches you know the machine is always good but there's a big difference between machine stitching and hand stitching I like machine stitching as well I mean there's no problem with machine stitching if some people actually yeah some people wonder if I hate the machine sashiko I actually don't mind that you know there's a machine that it can create sashiko stitching or sashiko patterns I would say not stitching sashiko patterns with the bigger stitch 10 I think that was a 10 years ago about 10 years ago when I saw it for the first time it was kind of difficult to use it because the back side of the fabric was quite messy after they did such a stitching on it but i've heard that last year in the quilt con the sashiko machine became much much better uh, now they do not leave any mess on the back side so i'm perfectly fine for those people who use the machine for the sashiko stitching but I want them to, of course, learn the basics and, of course, learn the history of sashiko if they want to. And if, especially if they want to teach, of course, I want them to learn that. But there's nothing wrong with using the machine stitching. But... There are people who like the hand stitching more, and you know, I'm here to pass down those culture of hand stitching, so I will keep doing the hand stitching. It takes a long time though. I don't know how many live streams I have been doing. This is probably fourth week of live streaming with this pants. So two hours, three hours every week for this multiply four it's only 12 hours actually so it's not that much yet oh come on <laughs> sakura oh sorry sakura is the cat's name She's kind of what's going on Sakura today? Just a second, okay. She's kind of weird. Did you eat something bad? Machines are about results and hand stitching is more about processing my view. I have found more calmness since I started making and mending by hand. That's very true. Um, many people think about sashiko as the result. Like some people say that the pattern is about sashiko, but it's not that. The sashiko is all about the practice itself of stitching. So. There's no such a thing as sashiko pattern in this world. It's the Japanese geometric patterns with hand stitching. So that's a very big, I wouldn't say misunderstanding, but mis transition, mis lost in translation, I guess. There's a big, you know, discussion in hand stitching, machine stitching in every crafting field. So I wouldn't want to jump into that, but. At the same time, the sashiko stitching can make a very beautiful result as well. But in order to make a beautiful result, one has to focus on the process. I'm not saying like we never care about the result. Of course, we do care about the result. But without caring the process, the result is not gonna be that. You know. <laughs> I don't want to sound like philosophical more than necessary, but that's how we think about sashiko. Therefore, I kind of don't like the concept of beauty and imperfection. It's more than that. I mean, it is very true that there is a beauty in imperfection. I'm not going to deny it. But 
I feel very sad and sometimes insulted when people say that they use when they use this beauty in perfection as the excuse to not to get better. So I rephrased in another in another word. Sashiko is indeed the process of accepting oneself. Hand stitching is actually itself is the process of accepting that we cannot be perfect. We cannot be the god. But accept acceptance is good. It's very good in Sashiko practice. We have to accept who I am, what I can do, what I do. But at the same time, is acceptance and giving up is completely different. Um, usually, if the beauty in perfection is from the acceptance, I am okay with it. But usually, those people who try to accept who they are do not say that. Because they are in the process of accepting it. If the, the word beauty in perfection is the result of not trying to get better, like giving up to learn something more, then I think it's very sad and could repaint, change the culture in an unfavorable way. Unfavorable way. <laughs> so, you know, there are many people there are people, many people, who spend their whole life in Sashiko stitching. And I don't think they say that, you know, our stitches are very messy and those are beautiful so we don't have to get better. I don't think they said it. I, I don't know, at least I don't know any artisan who are proud of their stitches until the end of their life. They kept saying that our stitches are not that good. You know, it's kind of like humbleness to, to the extent of rudeness. Their stitches are so even that it's kind of rude to say that because my stitches are much much worse than theirs but they kept saying that their stitching is not good enough which could be indirectly telling me that my stitches are even worse but that's how Japanese people think about the humbleness or perfect the concept of perfect so if they're calling their stitches sashiko the Japanese culture I hope it comes with that. Please enjoy the beauty in the imperfection, but please do not use that word as the excuse to not to get better or not to learn something more. There's a big difference between the acceptance and giving up. I'm trying to I'm trying to get better in English with the kind of summarizing it. It's kind of difficult to... How can I say? English. In English, we have to say the conclusion first. Correct? When we write the like essay or something, we have to tell the conclusion first. In Japanese, it is true that when we write the essay or papers, but in just Japanese chatting, we do not have to say the conclusion first. Um, that's the grammatical and that's a linguistic difference. We do not say the verb until the end of the sentence. <laughs> In English, we say who is the subject, who that subject does what, or is what. So we, when I speak in English, I care what is the message of the conversation, message of the sentence. In Japanese, we sometimes don't say the subject. Uh, we sometimes, we often, not often, we always kind of put the verb at the end of the sentence. So, it's like a flow. Of course, it's very communicatable, but it's quite difficult tool. It's a, it's a different as a tool to communicate. Come on. I feel like I have to have some message when I speak in English. That's probably what I'm trying to say. Uh, therefore, it's kind of difficult for me to focus. Come on. 
Yeah, but there are a lot of the Japanese, the Japan, the country of Japan. As long as we live in the normal life or ordinary life, we don't need English. Like everything can conclude within the Japan, uh, unless you become somebody who do the business with the others. Or you know, English is great. English, like learning the second language, is a great skill to have. At the same time, we do not have to have the second language to survive, especially if one is in the Japanese tradition, culture, business. Like, if it's Japanese, Japanese, we really don't need that. That's another reason there are not that many such close teachers who can speak English because I technically didn't need English at all. I just hated Sashiko so much that I wanted to go somewhere else that I studied English to come to the US to study so they cannot follow me. If I went to some Japanese university, they could follow me. I didn't like that idea. So that's, you know, that's the reason we do not have that many craftsmen or artisans who can speak, who can use the both English and Japanese. So I know several Sashiko stitches who can speak English, but I think they are, they chose Sashiko as the second career or they changed the kind of, they, they used to work for something else and they changed their career. So there are a lot of things that kind of are missing in between the language also the culture and this account is pretty much to share that i don't know how long it's gonna take i have no idea how long it's gonna take to complete that and i don't know how because i don't think i have shared like i think i've shared only like 10 percent more probably less than 10 percent of what i'm gonna share but that's what i want to do can you talk about where in the pattern you choose to start or what choices there are when picking which line to start um that's a very good question at the same time i cannot explain that over the live streaming it's because the answer is it depends so let's say that i stood from here right i stood from here right now is there any reasons no <laughs> i just choose it just because but that just because is based on the logic of running stitch and in order to talk about that running stitch logic one has to probably be able to do running stitch as we do so it's kind of like i'm sorry to say this it's kind of part of the online class but i don't really teach how to pick a place to start or how to follow the patterns but interestingly after the online class or after the workshop many people can do that so there's no answer that one has to start from where. Uh, there's not that big specific reason to where to start. So it really always depends on the fabric patterns, uh, the, even the feeling of that day. Uh, in order to decide that where to start or how to start, where to go, um, one has to learn pretty much all of the posture or technique that I'm using right now. So, sorry, I got something stuck here. So the answer is. It all depends. I'm sorry, this might not be a good answer for that. But the question was that where the pattern you where I'm sorry, the pattern you choose to start or what choice they are when picking which line to stitch first. Um, it really depends on each pattern, each size, which kind of fabric, how big the pattern is but the co whole concept is to work less i think that's the probably the answer 
we choose the place to start based on our experience, our knowledge, based on the concept of that we want to work less. I mean, if you, if one if they work on the pre prepared package, like you know, samplers or some piece of fabric that manufacturer prepared for you, there is a way to stitch first. Actually, probably those sample will tell you where to start. So if it's pre, pre ah, it's prepared by somebody else with the intention there's a way to start from the specific place but since we work on very various fabric different patterns different size patterns different places there's not a specific answer for that but by keeping the sashiko i hope they not i hope they know where to they don't really ask and not even ask, they don't really worry about where to start because they can. Ah. I hope it makes sense. Um, so it depends. I know it's not a good answer, but it depends. Hi there, so when are you going to write the book to express that? I, <laughs> thank you so much. I don't know about when. I am working on that little by little. Um, English is my second language. And it is kind of difficult. Like, several publishers contact me and they are interested. They are interested in what I would like to say. So I'm making a book proposal and they also offered to work on somebody else with the, you know, English native or the skill to publish a book. But I kind of, I'm a hesitant to work on somebody who is the professional in English, but not in, not in the good understanding of Japanese culture or sashiko because in the translation, like many concepts may be lost in the translation and usually book values the grammatical accuracy and, you know, easy to read and stuff like that. Of course, of course, of course, of course, I would like to make my writing as accurate as possible and as, you know, easy to, as easy as possible to read. But I have to be careful because if I communicate something different, it's the, you know, it's not only waste of time, it's the doing the opposite. So, I don't know when. <laughs> but I am going to work on that. And one of the preparation, one of the preparation, one of the things I'm doing right now is to share my deeper, deeper idea as the longer writing. Uh, share that on the Patreon where the it more like you know it takes a lot of time for me to keep writing so those how do you say pa pa patreon is the place where people can support the artist artisans crafting those people uh yes i would like to make a hard copy one day but let's see let's see when it can be a format yes that was a good answer yes thank you no rules yes yes so that's that's a really 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 core cool message like one of the core message that i share there's no such a thing as no like, no rules i'm sorry to say that but there's no such a thing as the rule in sashiko you will find 
or sometimes even the pattern or the fabric or needle or thread will tell us what is the right things to do. Um, work less, like you don't want to wash the extra dishes, you don't want to wash somebody's, you don't want to use the extra dish for no reasons because you have to wash it later. So <laughs> that's the whole purpose of Sashiko, that it was a part of their ordinary life. And I know many books tell you that you should do that, you should you shouldn't do that, and many kids tell you that you should do this, you should do that. Sure, go ahead. There's no rule that you shouldn't follow those rules. But isn't gonna be a little weird or frustrating if somebody tell you what to do when you're washing the dishes? Like you have to like like this I mean, you have to rinse off all the grease first before you apply the soap otherwise your greasy dishes is gonna touch the other clean dishes or you have the la 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 of course you know there might be any rules in washing the dishes but it's so ordinary that we don't need any rules Sashiko was like that too Sashiko was so ordinary that everybody every single house every single household had their own rules so the, you know asking the asking others to do what you should do is kind of rude for that matter that's why I don't I, I really I don't really tell the others what to do but I can teach how to do it in a better more efficient way to do it so many books by the way look at this, this these two comments thank you so much for the comments by the way these two comments kind of integrate in order to publish a book not a publisher book in order to sell the book in crafting field those rules are must to have that that's not my word that's the publisher's word you we have to have a rule to follow in order to sell how to book i understand perfectly it is very 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 true if I publish a book, how to do sashiko stitching, if you open the book and the first sentence is there's no rule, you can do whatever you want, that is a kind of a you know scam. <laughs> I that's a that's a very bad book. But my whole philosophy is that there's no rules. No rules doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. <laughs> It does not mean that you can do whatever you want. I want everybody to try to respect the Japanese culture and follow the Jap how the Japanese would have practiced sashiko if they want to use the Japanese word sashiko. But there is no such a thing as right or wrong. So, you know, there's a way, but I cannot fully express that well for now. But one will get it there if they keep learning. And the book I want to publish is, you know, the summary of what I'm talking, what I'm writing on Instagram, what I'm writing, what I'm sharing deeper on the Patreon's website. Look, summary, I think it's going to be a summary of that. But as you can tell, my writing is kind of weird. A lot of this, you know, double quotation mark, a lot of... I tried to write the english as i would have written the japanese which is oh this is kind of a big secret by the way this is a big secret so try to read that as i wow i didn't expect to share that today anyway so i tried to write the english with expecting others to read between lines because that's very much japanese or necessary skill to understand japanese culture to read we read between lines a lot, even in writing. So I tried to write that that me, you, the reader, might might misunderstand what I'm trying to do if they do not read mindfully. Does it make sense? It's it's very difficult to even explain that, but I spend a lot of time in writing because I know what you want to hear uh, sometimes i make that you know past i sometimes write sashiko is this but i usually say sashiko is not 
because the answer is not something I should provide. You, I want you to find what Sashiko is. But there are things that Sashiko is not. Like, Sashiko is not about embracing the imperfection, and beauty and imperfection. Then your question is, what is, the, what is Sashiko then? What does Sashiko embrace? I can tell my opinion, I can tell my insight, I can tell my feeling, but at the same time I want you to find it by yourself by learning what Japanese culture is like. Because the process of learning is also important to understand what Sashiko is. So, I know the English as a language, or linguistic language, um, requires to be direct. Conclusion first, always be clear, always um, con the thesis statement, and then those following state, uh, the following sentence should be f supporting the thesis statement. That's very English-like structure. <laughs> Japanese is a little weird for that too, so... <laughs> Sashiko, Sashiko poetry book, beautiful image? Well, I don't know if publisher wants to do that, but that's... I don't... Yes, yeah, some people... Thank you so much for saying that, but some people think that my writing are poet. The problem is that I'm not that educated to write a poet in English or even in Japanese. I'm, you know, I'm not that. I have not read enough poet to write a poem. So I'm not comfortable saying that, but I'm trying to... I hope you kind of realize it by now, but I barely say that I'm here to teach Sashiko. Or educate Sashiko to you. Educate you by Sashiko. I always say that I'm here to share what the Sashiko is. So my, my mission is not to teach or to educate. My mission is to share so that they, you, can find your own idea. Like I can teach and I teach Sashiko class workshop the technique or the mind, well, you know, the basic things. But I really don't define what is Sashiko for them because they will find, they can find it by themselves. They can. So that's why I don't define myself a teacher yet so much. I mean, I'm teaching Sashiko, so I am a teacher, but at the same time, I am not here to teach or educate. More like a share. I hope it makes sense. <laughs> well, you know. I can do this now because I don't have to worry about tomorrow's bread. I couldn't do it before 2000. Until recently because I had to work. I have to worry about that too, so make two sections one on how to one on new summary a separate book on tradition and history yeah um, that's a, probably a possibility yeah 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 um for the how to book though um i may that's going to probably come later i'm not comfortable teaching sashiko just by word I really need to look at everybody's posture because what I share on what I share in online class or even like in person workshop is very I understand that recently that it's quite unique so even like a, a 0 0.1 inch of Adjusting can make a big difference, so I want to make sure that I see everybody's hand before I... And, you know, I don't want to share the wrong information. If one says that... I want to make sure that everybody can do it. Everybody who wish to do it can do it. I mean, I want them to stitch as fast as I can and as fast as the other Japanese people can. Uh, some people might not be able to get to that level be 
if it's only by books because it's quite unique i found that it's quite unique it was normal for me because i was raised in that environment it seems like not many people knows how to do it so it's probably unique uh, that's my shenanigan that i would like to be ideal it's my shenanigan it's, it's pretty much shenanigan i should be more flexible and probably it's better way to market myself if i book if i publish a book of how to but it's my shenanigan like shenanigan shenanigan that's my idealism <laughs> Yep, not teaching. Well, I mean, I do teach. I do. Thank you for the comment. Not sharing. I mean, not teaching, sharing. I do teach, but at the same time, I, what I'm teaching is the, you know, public domain, the ordinary of Japanese people. So if it's like a, you know, something I found, sure that I want to teach, but at the same time, I would like to share what I've received. And that process shouldn't be, that shouldn't be for somebody specific. It should be open to everybody regardless of who they are or what they have. That's why I keep sharing. Like, this is another thing. So, you know, I share my stitching so you can learn even without anything. Anybody can watch this. Uh, not anybody. Like, anybody who has the internet and YouTube or Instagram can watch and learn from me by sharing, by me sharing. If they want to learn quicker, more efficient, without possible mistake, then it's going to be like my work. It, it, then it's going to be my work because it's going to require my private time. Not a private time, my time to do that. So my goal is to share. My, my goal is to share this so that anybody can access to that. But I have to also, you know, survive too. That's a balance, I would say. That's a balance. But if I stood driving, like, you know. I keep saying that. But if I stood posting how to be rich with those cash on my hands like this. That's the time you might say, like, hey, you are wrong. You didn't say that before. You were not. You're contradicting to yourself. Like, if you have that much money to be, you know, to... To share your success story to build rich what's going on with sashiko that's the time you kind of question myself but as of now i don't really need i, I mean i would like to have that much money but i don't need now my goal is not there so <laughs> i'm a human i'm a human but i just have a different mission in my life there was a book on japanese sewing i read that helped yes yes um So I believe, yes, if I write a book of how to, it will be very helpful. I'm pretty sure about that. It's going to be very helpful. But there will be a, some percentage of people who misunderstand what I would like to share. Because over the book, I cannot make sure that. And that's a kind of scary part. I mean, see, that's super idealistic, super shenanigan. I want to make sure that everybody get what I wanted to share. That's a very <laughs> idealistic shenanigan, but at least I live in there yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's really bad. I Like, I am saying it by myself and I'm finding myself, that is, that is a BS. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's itazura. It's it's not it, it's not itazura at all. I don't feel itazura at all. It's not a trick. Well, I don't know what itazura is in English, but it is the BS. I mean, I would say it's. B I don't want to say the bad word. But it's a BS. I mean. 
if I wanna do the if I wanna spread the Sashiko the best way is to probably publish a book of how to but I don't wanna do it because there's a possibility of big misunderstanding this is based on my um, experience in three years of workshop it takes about three hours of very uncomfortable time to learn something new but without the you know supervisor not many people go through three hours of uncomfortable time so that's kind of my fear that i might not be able to communicate the very best way but that's something i can do because i don't have to worry about more spread so i think it's i think it's english shenanigan or bs <laughs> itazula is a little different word for that really um the book was general sewing for traditional garments no sashiko at all but it helped with the posture and hand motion it is probably different though which is there's no problem with there's no problem at all if you learn something different that's perfectly fine but it's probably different it's probably different from what i'm sharing right now which is perfectly fine but it's probably not the same at least, as long as i know there's at least <laughs> At least I have not met anybody who knew this posture in my workshop. It was a very surprise. Some Japanese know it, but at the same time, some Japanese do not. So they come to my workshop in Japanese as well. Ah, so... Yeah, yeah, so Sashi... Yeah, it's perfectly fine to do it. Ah, I might let you guys sleeping. Hey. I talked a lot. It's almost 50 minutes. The Instagram might stop soon, so I'll just uh, let me finish this much thread and I'll um, I will show the other side. It's, it's kind of interesting, like, there's not that many haiku books in Japanese, by the way. There are a lot of, like, a pattern book, but not that many Japanese haiku books neither. And that's probably because Sashiko was a part of the ordinary life. Uh, it is something to learn by our grandparents or grand-grandparents. Can you show us your posture? You're just seeing it right now. This is the posture I'm doing. You're now seeing in life. So since it was very ordinary, they not many people found it something special it's same here too like i thought everybody could do it when i was a child when i was a child i literally thought that everybody can do what i was doing because i was i was raised in an environment that everybody could do it and i was the kind of worst what do you do with the loosen thread uh, i have answered that question already and it's on youtube or you it should be on youtube and my uh, what my website upcycle stitches go to the website and then type how why loop that's the probably the article you can reach to why loop posture itself is more like a Yes, how to hold the needle, how to stitch, how to move, how to think about it. So pretty much everything, including the mindset. That's what I teach on the online class. 
I mean, you can get it by just watching what I'm doing. But, and there are many, many, not many, there are some who share their learning and their, I really was impressed by their learning. But at same time, sometimes people, we, make a misunderstanding and that could cause unfortunate result. Like misunderstanding and practicing in the different posture and then not getting the core. So to avoid those kind of unfortunate things, I have the online class or like in-person workshops that I just share everything as the package. So, but if I write the if I write a book about it, I don't know if I can. I don't know. I probably feel more comfortable just showing like this than summarizing it on the book because putting these things in the writing is also gonna be difficult as well. I don't know how to do that. I can pull this hand with this needle, blah, 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 blah. What? What is this word? Come on. Okay, soon, soon, soon. Make notes, diary. Uh, that's, that's my Instagram. <laughs> if you are interested in the di diary, that's my Instagram account. I keep the, my kind of a diary. It became like a diary, I guess. It became like a diary on the Instagram that I share my feeling about such for that I don't know what this person was saying but if it's the the word I'm kind of thinking that's a very sad because it's wrong spelling Well, it's it's a diary slash my, how can I say, it's, it's the place that I share my shenanigan too. It's a message though, it's a very strong message. It's a public diary. But there's so much stuff that I have to share. I would like, I don't have to, I would like to share. So it's, if I'm going to write down those diaries, why don't I share that? So it's on the Instagram. So I probably should share this in the beginning but this is the place that i had to mend but i really don't <laughs> i don't like around it here so i decided to stitch around it to hide this place you know if i want to hide a tree let's bring into the forest oh <laughs> i don't know if i'm doing a job the side that i there's no obstacle is gonna look like this like regular snow stitching also the dirt dirt kind of adds good stuff so i don't know how it's gonna be looking but this one this part main part requires a lot of power to stitch and therefore it's not that that's as it's not as good as i want it to be i will try to, i my initial plan was to stitch about this much but it's not as good as i thought so i'm kind of adding more Whew. Yes, so I will stop the live streaming now today. So just one last comment. For writing a book, journal, or document your thoughts to examine beforehand. It looks so good to me. Yes, uh, so the Instagram is like a diary and the Patreon for the limited people, like the supporters are more like the brainstorming article of how I'm going to write a book about. So it's much, much deeper, much, much... It's like a practice of writing. <laughs> I don't want to say practice because they're supported. The practice is not a good word, but it's like a, you know, <laughs> it's actually a practice though. 
I do not pre proofread much, so it's a practice, but it's it, I'm sharing my honest opinion, deepest insight there. Um, yes, the place I stitch will be much, much stronger, so it's gonna be good. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much for watching this Hashiko live streaming. I will come back next Friday as the same time, I guess. Okay, uh, have a good weekend. I will see you next weekend. Bye bye. I will stop on the YouTube little glass soon. Just a second. I have to save it on the Instagram first. I appreciate your comments today. Your comments will help me to keep talking about what Sashiko is. So it is very helpful to have your comments. I hope I can, and you know, I have a lot of pos. I'm not a posture. I have a lot of photos, and I have a lot of actual actual piece here, actual Sashiko piece here. So it's not a big problem of taking a photo, especially if we hire somebody, you know, professional photographer. So what I have to have is the writing, documents, message. So let's say, let's see. I am hoping that I can do it sooner or later. But anyway. I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.